Okay. Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss uh, what is application set. So application set is a CRD which is available in uh, Argo CD app set or application set is a CRD which allows us to provision the different applications uh, depending on your environment. It allows us to create the multiple applications, okay, using the combinations. So application set CRD and how when i have so let's i have to assume that i have three environment dev qa and prod like three environment in the sense three namespaces and i want to provision the same help chart currently what you will do it you will go and provision the three different applications you will create three applications and do this thing you will create one application for dev namespace qa and the prod and provision the same help chart rather than doing this thing application set allow us to do this thing using the single CRD file itself. So they will internally go and create the three, automatically go and create the three application. How they will do it? Under the spec section, you they have two fields. One is generator and second is template. Okay. Generator section, which whatever things we want to iterate it, that will come under generator. So like I will mention dev, QA and prod under the generator section. Okay, generator has different types like list generators are there, git generators are there, cluster is there, GitHub is there. Template section, template section will carry the information like how the application should be generated. So common configuration, how the name of the application will come, what is the source URL, what is the destination, everything will come under the destination. The configuration things will come under the template section. So let us go and see this particular thing. Okay. So this is the app set. One second, not this one. This is the app set. Okay. Application set. Kind is application set. Name of the application set. Here, this is the type of generator is list. Under the spec section, generator type is list. Okay. Under the list, you will see three namespaces there. Dev, test, and UAT. Now, template section will tell that how the application should generate it. So, first application when it generated, the name of the application will come dev hyphen color hyphen app. This is the project. This is source URL. This is the destination. In the destination, the name space will be created with the name of dev. Same the test will come. It will take test hyphen color hyphen app and the name space will be there. The UAT will come and same way the UAT will be there. I will be using the kubectl create command to do this thing. Okay. So the moment I do this thing, you'll see that automatically three applications are created. Okay. So how we did it? We have used application set. So application set has provisioned the applications. If I go and try to delete the application from here, it will again reprovision it. I'll just show you one of the application. I'll go and try to delete it. Okay. I deleted it okay it's deleting it after some time you will see that okay it again start creating it because it has provisioned using the application set you can compare same thing with the deployment and ports when we go and deploy the pod using the deployment concept uh, even we go and manually delete the pod still deployment controller will again deprovision the ports here same case will happen with the application set as well application set will be reprovisioning the application again and again in case of deletion okay this is one example other is the git generators is also there okay this is a git generator one okay here you can see the generator type is git uh, revision is there under the path i have, will be having multiple sub paths are there so i will have three sub paths are there under the three sub path it will go and find the different manifest file okay uh, and this different manifest file it will be going and deploying it suppose three sub path can be dev qa and prod and their different charts are available there it will go and iterate it and provision that thing within the git uh, directory generator okay other than that uh, other options are also available such as matrix generator is there Matrix generator allows us to mix match the things. So suppose I want to use a Git generator as well as the namespace thing. So list and Git both I want to use it. So then I will use the matrix generator. In that case, what will happen is, suppose three hand charts are there. 
all these three handshakes will be deployed across these three namespaces. So these are the couple of options that you should explore it and see that how the application set you can use it. The command line option which you can see it argo cd app set list. Okay, it will show you how many app set is deployed it. Okay, same way. Uh, see, I told you that okay, it will automatically go and reprovision it in case if I go and manually delete the application directly. So application set is higher in the priority. It will go and provision the multiple application. It will be using a concept called generator and template. Generator is the option which will be dynamically varying such as namespaces, multiple namespaces, multiple clusters. And uh, template section will contain the how the application gen definition should come up. So definition of the application will come under the template section. So this is the way you can generate the application set CRD and that would help you out to create the multiple applications uh, using this generator and template specifications. Thank you everyone. If you have any query, please ask in the chat.